Hello and welcome to this episode. It's about how to set up BigQuery transfer for Google Merchant Center. A few words about me. I am publishing every Monday weekly newsletter about Google Cloud Platform. So if you are interested in um, latest news or articles about GCP, feel free to subscribe. I'm also publishing articles on my blog again related to GCP I am uh, recording video and publishing on this YouTube channel and lastly I'm doing consulting of course related to Google Cloud so if you have some problem or issue with GCP feel free to contact me to set up Big Query Transfer for Google Merchant Center. In Cloud Console, go to BigQuery menu. So I have it pinned here at the top, but it's under it's under Big Data. Here. a bit slower then go to transfers click on create transfer first step is to select source so there are different sources we are interested in Google Merchant Center we need to give it some name so I'll just name it Google Mer merchant transfer so there are some schedule options so we can start it well, like now or at a certain time that's one option I'll set it to run now initial load and then how it should repeat whether it should be daily or weekly monthly custom on demand so I'll set weekly and then I can select the days. So I will select Monday. And I'll not I'll leave this empty because I want to run it right away. Next thing is to set the destination settings. Uh, that is data set in BigQuery. So I'll create new one and I'll name it merchant data oh, merchant data two since I already have one and I'll set location in uh, European Union. I also set or enable table expiration and I'll set it for 14 days that means that all data or all tables in this data set merchant data 2 there will be automatically deleted when they are 14 days old and I'll create data set so I can select it here important thing is of course merchant ID so I'll now I'm in Google Merchant Center and I'll just copy this number and put it here as ID and here are options of what kind of data I want to transfer so I'm interested only in best sellers so I'll check here and I'll uncheck products and product issues and useful notification is email notification in case there is some error in the transfer. So I think that's all. So I'll click on save and it should save settings as well as start initial transfer. As you can see here it's written the transfer run is in progress so it will take a few minutes or depends how much data you have 
to load initial data. So the transfer is a reporting error. The transfer run has failed. Some all of the reports could not be loaded. Please see the exact errors below. So when I click, I get uh, information. And uh, here it says Nota products inventory data transfer for your Google Merchant Center account. This can be because your account currently doesn't have any products. Products. I don't know why it uh, uh, displayed that message. However, there is um, uh, there is data in BigQuery. So I have here two tables, bestseller top brands and bestseller top products. So uh, this is schema and here we can see preview of the data. And for top products. Looks like this. So that's all. Thank you for your attention.